It can be extremely handy to be able to blur out bits of a video, mm. be it faces, copyrighted logos, or even, well, lots of things really. And in this episode, we're going to find out how to do that from right inside YouTube. Oh, coming up after this. Media. Hello, 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 and welcome to the Media Channel. I'm your host, William Hugh. Oh, yeah. You know, it would be a real bummer if you were told you had to take down one of your videos because someone in it didn't want their face to be seen, or because someone's t shirt had a controversial logo on it or something. Well, the good news is that you don't have to. No, because you can apply a localized blur to the offending image from right inside YouTube. Now, you won't even have to re upload the video afterwards, which means you get to keep all your video views intact. Oh, yeah, it's quick, it's easy, and you do it like this. First, go to your YouTube channel and click on the channel icon here, and then on Creative Studio. Now, look through your list of uploaded videos and select the video you want to add the blurring to. And when the video opens up, you want to click on the Enhancement icon, which is this little magic wand effort here. And that will take you to a sort of editor, which, as you can see, allows you to do things to your video, such as alter the contrast or colour, speed it up, slow it down, and trim its length. And if you look up here, you will find Blurring Effects. That's the one we want. Clicking on it gives us this, offering two blurring options. The first option, Blur Faces, when applied, we'll find every face in the picture, track it, and blur it, as we can see from the preview here. Both faces have been blurred, but only one appears so because the editor shows both the original video and the preview, and you can check between them by using this slider here. But to be honest, I don't know why anyone would want to blur every face in a video. It seems to be defeating the object. A much more useful and controllable effect is custom blurring here. With this, you can choose which faces or areas to blur, and it will track the image as it moves. The duration of the blur is fully controllable by using this bar here. You can change its length and move it around on the timeline like this. And clicking on the little X here will remove it. It's not only faces that can be tracked. Should you want to blur out, say, a car's number plate or a T-shirt logo, then you can do so in exactly the same way. It's a simple matter of selecting it, deciding its length of appearance, and there you go. And you can track as many items as you want. I could also select the face, and a new control bar opens here. I'll just trim it to the same size as the other. And I'll blur this object here as well, giving me three objects tracked and blurred. And they will just stack up on the timeline. If I now drag the cursor here, you can see the blurs come in as it hits the bars on the timeline, and then stops as it leaves them. When you've finished editing your blurs, just click Done, and you will be taken back to the preview to check it out. If you're happy with the result, you could click on Save as New Video, which will do just that and lose you any views you may have accumulated on the original. A much better option is to just click Save here. This option will just apply the blur effect on top of the existing video, which means you get to keep all those lovely views intact. So there you go, blurring videos from inside YouTube. Very handy indeed. So, what sort of things would you like to blur out on your videos, eh? Drop us some suggestions in the comments below, because I'm sure we would all be very interested to find out. Well, that's all for this time. Don't forget the thumbs up, and if not already subscribed, then hit the subscriber thingy. <laughs> because that way, I'll see you here next time, and every time, on, on the, the Media, Media Channel. Channel.